guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the camel stitch blanket border. The camel stitch blanket border is perfect to add to any blanket where you want the blanket to be the star of the show. And really the border is something to give that finished off look, completed blanket look without actually stealing anything from the technique used in the blanket. The camel stitch blanket border is a simple pattern without being overly simple and taking away from any of your technique. There's still plenty of detail. There's still a lot of complementary aspects to this blanket border that are really going to just let the blanket shine. And that's why I chose it for this rainbow baby blanket. It's one of those amazing patterns. There's no stitch count requirement. It's okay, go ahead and do your little happy dance. <laughs> There's no stitch count requirement for this blanket border. Go ahead and just pick whatever yarn color that you think will complement the colors used within the blanket. The crochet hook you're going to use, just use whatever crochet hook is recommended on the yarn label of the yarn you're using for your blanket border. Uh, if you want to weave in your ends a certain way with a tapestry needle or yarn needle, Go ahead and use a tapestry needle yarn needle however you're going to weave in your ends i'm going to let that be completely up to you if you want some new ideas maybe whatever you're using isn't working for you go ahead and check out this link right here for different ways of weaving your ends and joining your yarn together i found some great techniques and maybe something that i show you in this video will work better for you than what you are using right now. So I found this crochet blanket border off windingroadcrochet.com, another amazing crochet pattern creator. Go ahead and click the link that's in the note section below, print that off, and let's dive right into how to make this blanket border. The swatch that I'm going to be using to demo the camel stitch blanket border is the front post double crochet, back post double crochet pattern that I used in the Rainbow Baby blanket. Uh, you can use this border on any blanket, really. I'm just using this particular one because I know that there are quite a few people asking me to put a border on the Rainbow Baby blanket, and I thought the camel stitch blanket border was perfect for this particular pattern. Uh, when it comes to making borders, there's really a two-step process. The first step is your foundation row for your blanket border. Row one of almost every blanket border is going to be a single crochet border around the entire blanket. You're making the blanket border fit the blanket. I'm going to take whatever color that you chose to put uh, to make your blanket border with. Go ahead and create your slip knot. Grab the crochet hook that was the recommended crochet hook for whatever yarn that you chose to use for your border, and we are ready to begin. In the top right hand corner, we're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch to attach our yarn to our project. Okay, so slip stitch right there. We're going to chain one. And we're going to single crochet in that same space. Perfect. Okay, go ahead and put one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. All right, last space, single crochet. The corners for the camel stitch blanket border are different than the other borders that I have used. So you single crochet once in that corner, then you're going to chain two, one, two, and then you're going to single crochet back in that corner. And that's how you make your corners for the camel stitch blanket border. Okay. We are along the side of our blanket right now. This is the side that gets a little tricky. When it comes to blanket borders for your foundation row, if your turning chain or your last stitch was a single crochet or your first stitch was a single crochet, you're going to put one single crochet in the side of that row. If your last stitch or first stitch of the row was a half double crochet, you're going to put one single crochet in the side of that row. If the last stitch or first stitch was a double crochet or you had to chain two to get to the next row, you will put two single crochets in the side of that row. Okay? In this case, 
with the front post double crochet, back post double crochet, it interlinked a little closer to give it almost a half double crochet appearance. So we are actually going to, if you are working along the front post double crochet, back post double crochet pattern, we are just putting one single crochet in each space here. Next space, single crochet. Okay, next space, one single crochet. Next space, one single crochet. Next space, one single crochet. So this case seems to be a bit of a different variation, even though we ended each row with a double crochet because the, the row actually slides down among the previous row. It gives a smaller shrunken stitch appearance. So the side of each row, we are just putting one single crochet. Perfect, we have just reached the very last row. So it's the very last single crochet of the side of our blanket. We are going to chain two, one, two. We're going to single crochet in that same space, one, and that is our corner. Okay, now we are along this side of our blanket. You're just going to go ahead and put one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. Last stitch, there we go. Chain two, one, two. Single crochet in that same space. There's our corner. And we are on our last side of our blanket. Again, we're just, if you are putting the front post double crochet, back post double crochet pattern, we are just putting one single crochet in the side of each row. Last stitch, perfect. We're gonna chain two, one, two, and we're going to slip stitch into the very top of the very first single crochet that we started with right there. Slip stitch, perfect, great. Okay, so our foundation row for our border is finished. We are all set up to do the camel stitch pattern, okay? We're gonna start row two of our border by chaining two. So one, two, we're gonna back it up and we're gonna put a half double crochet in this corner space right here behind us. So yarning over, putting our crochet hook in that chain two space, yarn over, pull through, got the three loops on our hook, gonna yarn over and pull through all three. Perfect. Okay, so the camel stitch is very interesting because it's going in the third hump. Get it, camel, third hump. <laughs> so when we look at our stitches, we are not putting our crochet hook here. We look at the top, we see our Vs. We are not putting anything in our Vs. We're gonna keep turning and you'll actually see on the back of the stitch, kind of like a camel, it's got a little loop right there. That's the third hump. So we're going to put a half double crochet in that third hump right there. It's hardest to see off of the single crochet, but it gets a lot easier to see it uh, when we go to our third row. We have yarned over, yarn over, nothing in the front, nothing in the V on the top, we're looking at the back here and we're going to insert our crochet hook. If you need to use the claw, use the claw. This loop right here, yarn over, pull through for your three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. And what that does guys, by using that third hump in the very back, it pushes the V the V on the top of the stitch forward. So now we will see that V stitch very pronounced. Okay, 
You're going to do this technique all the way to the next corner. Let me do a few with you. So you're going to yarn over, find your V, go behind the V, and insert your crochet hook in that loop on the back of your V. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. See how the V is pushed forward? Yarn over, see the V, go behind the V, to this guy right here. See him? I use the claw for this particular uh, row because it just works easier. Yarn over, V, behind the V, U. This is the hardest part of the whole thing, guys, is just identifying where that third little loop is that you want to grab. Once you have found that loop, you are off and you are good to go. There you go. Okay, so go ahead and keep doing this till you get to the corner and I will meet you at the corner. Okay, guys, we have just reached the very last single crochet here before we did the chain two. I already did my half double crochet in that third loop behind the V popping that V out so you can really start to see how all the V's have been pushed forward. It's a really cool look. Okay, once you get to the chain two section right here, you're going to put one half double crochet. So go ahead and just put your crochet hook right there in that big space. So half double crochet, chain two, and then half double crochet, and that's your corner. And then you're off to this side of the work where you're doing the same thing over again, where you're yarning over, finding that V stitch, pushing the V stitch forward so you can find that third loop right there. And you're going to insert your crochet hook in that third loop. If you need to use the claw of your crochet hook, yarn over, through, yarn over, pull through, and just keep going. So this whole row, guys, you are going, this whole second row of your border, you're doing this third hump half double crochet stitch in each stitch. In each corner, you're going to half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet, and then you're off to this side. I'm going to go ahead and continue going around the entire border and I will meet you right here where we connect and close up row two and I'll show you how to start row three. And then once we start row three, guys, you're just repeating yourself for as many rows as you want until you are satisfied with how thick you want your border to be. Sound good? Okay, so go ahead and continue with this row, half double crochet in the third hump, third loop, and I will meet you at the very end where we close off row two. Okay, so I just half double crocheted in the very last stitch right there. I'm now into the corner space where I'm going to put a half double crochet. I'm going to chain two, and then there was already a half double crochet that I started with in this spot. The very first stitch I did for row two was actually putting a half double crochet in the corner spot. So all I have to do guys is slip stitch into the top of that very first half double crochet. And I have closed up round two or row two of my border. Okay, we are now ready for row three. Row three is going to be a lot easier to follow than row two. You're going to be able to really identify that third hump of the camel that we are going to put our half double crochet in. When we look at our first stitch, the first stitch is going to be a little trickier to find the hump, but here, let me show you. 
you're going to start with a chain two. So one, two. Here's that first stitch, right? We're going to find the top of the stitch where we will see the V. I'm going to move my crochet hook out of the way so I can really show you. So here's the stitch, first stitch. There's the V. And if we keep turning, we'll see. Okay, here's the V. There is the hump, the third loop. Okay, find the V. Then right behind the V is going to be the loop. That is where we will insert our crochet hook. Okay, so let me grab my crochet hook and we'll do it together. So we have chained two. We're going to yarn over for our half double crochet, finding our first stitch, looking at the top of it, finding the V, gonna push that forward, forward, and there, right there, is the loop that I want to insert my crochet hook at. Okay, the very first stitch is the trickiest. The very next stitch is a lot easier to identify. You'll see here in a second. So we have three loops on our crochet hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. We've got our first half double crochet. Looking at our next stitch. So next stitch is right here. The top of the stitch, there's the V shape. And then if I keep turning it, so I'll put my thumb on this V-shape to cover it up. You will see, whoa, there's another V-shape right there. This V right here. If you are doing this following along with me, hopefully you're seeing this right now, this V that is right behind the top of the stitch. So stitch, top of the stitch, the V, covering up that one, moving it forward. We see another V. We're going to insert our crochet hook in the back loop only of that second V. Okay? So yarning over for our half double crochet. Stitch, V, turn, insert in the back loop of the second V. There we go. What you will notice is these V's that I just pushed forward are now becoming very pronounced in the front of the work. Are you I seeing that, identifying that? Once you have got a couple of these stitches down, all of the V's are just going to naturally want to fold to the front and the second V's will be on the top and all you're going to do is yarn over Make sure that this V has been pushed forward. Insert your crochet hook in the back loop only of the next loop. There we go. It's one of those things where it's really a visual thing. It's hard to work it through like riding a bike. It's hard to kind of do and explain, but you're going to yarn over, find that third loop. So the V-stitch, third loop, and the, uh, half double crochet. And you'll be able to keep going all the way across. And you'll be able to pick up speed once you see that your V's are folding forward and the V's in the back are popping up and you're just going in the back loop only. Half double crochet back loop only of that third loop so that your V's pop forward. Okay, give it a look, really feel it out, see what you're seeing on your end. Continue across and I will meet you at the corner. You're doing great guys. All right, we are coming up on the close of row three, going to a half double crochet into that corner, chain two, and slip stitch in the very top of the very first half double crochet, 
to close row three, and then you are off to row four. Row four, you just chain two, and with every other new row, you're just gonna start by chaining two. You're going to look at your first stitch, find the Vs, push the Vs forward, because we want the, these Vs to now form, so here's the row. We're gonna push this row forward, and we're going to half double crochet in the third loop all the way across. Just making sure to push these top Vs down and forward. And then with every corner, guys, every corner, you're going to half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet, and continue on. Just pushing all these top Vs forward and half double crocheting in that third hump or that third loop. And then this is the form of the border that it starts to take where it really pushes all those Vs forward. You really see all those Vs and it's really pretty, full of detail, yet also very simple and allowing the blanket pattern to be the star of the show. All right, guys, that is the Camel Stitch Blanket Border. I really hope you liked it. If you did, you might also really like these other Blanket Border videos right here. Also, check out this video right here. Take a peek. It's a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I always loved crocheting with you. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you with my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>